Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from eLearningUncovered.com. In today's video, I want to show you how I use PowerPoint as a graphic design tool to create custom icons. You know, in the last few years, icons have become a popular type of graphic asset to use in e-learning courses, uh, presentations, and just about anything and everything beyond that. Now, the beauty of most icons is how simple they are. When you look at an icon and break down how it was created, you quickly discover that most icons are made up of a few simple shapes. And usually, these are shapes that you can create in PowerPoint. So today, I want to create a simple checklist icon. Now, before I create the actual checklist part of my icon, I need to start by creating a foundation for the icon itself. For this particular icon, I'll insert a simple circle for the foundation. Now, as for colors, you can do really whatever works best for your design. But for this icon set, I'm going to use this series of colors that I've already selected. For this icon, I'll use the eyedropper tool to make the fill this nice blue color, and I'll turn off the outline altogether. All right, so now that I have the foundation of my icon, it's time for me to start building the checklist part of my icon. Now for this particular graphic, I'd like my checklist to appear as if it's on a clipboard. So I'll start by inserting a rounded rectangle. Now as you can see, the size of the rounded corners is a bit too much. So I'll adjust them by dragging this yellow toggle. I want you to be able to see that the corners are rounded, but I want it to appear subtle. I think that looks pretty good. For the color of this shape, again, I'll use the eyedropper tool to make it this yellow color, and I'll turn off the outline altogether. All right, next I need to add a shape to make it look like there's a piece of paper on this clipboard. I could simply add a rectangle shape here, but rather than that, I think I'll use the square shape with the folded corner here. Now, what I really like about this shape is just like with the rounded rectangle, I can adjust the size of the folded corner by dragging this yellow toggle here. I think that looks pretty good. Now, as for the colors here, I'll just make the paper have a white fill and no outline, just like that. Okay, the final item I need to add to my clipboard graphic is the actual clip that holds the paper. For this, I'll simply insert a rounded rectangle and draw it here. As before, the corners are much too rounded, so I'll adjust those to make them a bit smaller. Lastly, I'll add this donut shape for the hook portion of the clipboard. I'll put it right here at the top. Perfect. Now I'll just hold the shift key on my keyboard and select both of these shapes and give them this black fill and turn off the outline. And just with those few simple shapes, I have a simple checklist icon. To finish this off, I'll select all of the clipboard shapes without selecting the round foundation shape and group these items together. By doing this, it makes it easy for me to use my alignment tools to center the clipboard graphic inside the round background shape. Now that it's perfectly centered, I'll go ahead and group the clipboard with the background. And that's how easy it is to create a custom icon using basic shapes in PowerPoint. And I don't necessarily have to stop here. I could continue adding simple shapes to give this icon even more detail. I can add additional details to the foundation to make it appear more three-dimensional. I can even add some shapes to the paper part of the clipboard to make it look even more like a checklist. Finally, one of the things I love about creating custom icons, or any custom graphics in PowerPoint, is that you don't have to use them just in PowerPoint. I can right-click on this icon and select Save as a Picture. This lets me save the icon as a PNG image, which can be used in another project. Creating custom graphics and icons in PowerPoint is super easy. It's just a matter of figuring out how to use basic shapes to create the graphic you want. If you like these icons and want to edit and customize them for your own project, check out the link in the description to download these for yourself. Enjoy! Hey, did you like that video? Make sure to check out some of our other great content at elearninguncovered.com. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, you know the drill, just check out our stuff.